My name is Scott Rollins for my beer. Wanted to talk about some of the common issues that arise during tap wall construction. Um, we're standing in front of a partially completed tap wall on a real job site right now. Uh, wanted to point out some of the problems that we had to overcome with this installation. So one of the first things uh, is we cannot have studs landing behind the screens of the tap wall. It should be landed between the screens. The reason for that is the screens themselves have a little over a three inch depth. Um, so we need this unobstructed. Uh, we also need to have unobstructed access to the top of the tap wall when uh, we're working with direct trawl systems. Um, we will be running wires from the top of the tap wall down to the screens so if we have studs running horizontally across the tap wall we won't be able to fish the cable. Uh, so keeping, keeping these channels clear between the screens going to the top of the tap, tap wall um, is critical. Another common problem that we see is mounting the screens 13 inches on center. We have to maintain a minimum of 13 inches on center for mounting these. Uh, if we do not, what can happen is you won't be able to remove the screens from the tap wall once everything's installed. We won't be able to get the tools in in case there's an issue on the screen in the center. Keeping power within six feet of the screens is important. Um, the leads on the, uh, the, the transformers are about six feet to a receptacle, and then we end up fishing power wires down through the wall on the other end. So keeping those within six feet of, uh, of the screens is important. How many receptacles or outlets you have really depends on the size of your tap. Another consideration for your tap wall build is maintaining ADA compliance. In this particular scenario at this location, the tap handles are at 44 inches, which allows us to set the, the RFID reader plates at 48. Another thing that we have to consider is the mounting surface for the RFID reader plates. Uh, we won't have any issues with wood or mounting in tile. Um, however, if you plan to use stainless steel, aluminum, or brass as a, as a uh, backing material for the RFID reader plate, you will have to shim out the readers off the wall with wood uh, as it causes the RFID signal to deteriorate. These metal frames that we have to mount on your tab wall in order to attach the screens, they have to be mounted on a finished surface. Okay, um, so as you can see right now, there will be a finished veneer that is going to go on this tab wall. Uh, this frame cannot be mounted yet. We will mount this after the finished veneer goes on uh, so we can affix the screens. The other problem we see is uh, happens when folks are doing tile walls, uh, they, they, they set the, the frames in and tile around the mounts, uh, which causes the screens to be recessed, which means we can't affix them to the mounting plates because we can't get the tools in. So the screens cannot fit flush in the wall, they have to sit outside of the wall um, by about, it's about a quarter of an inch of the, of the actual screen frame itself. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, good luck in planning out your tap wall build and welcome to the Pour My Beer family.